what I really appreciate about WRLA is the fact that it's um, an open forum um, between um, different brands and banners. To, to have an ability to talk freely with other people from other buying groups, other banners, other brands, being able to share ideas and uh, um, have networking opportunities and really learn from each other. I would suggest someone try the WLRA out. Try it for a year, pay your membership, try, engage um, yourself, come to the show, participate in the magazine, read the magazine, share it amongst your staff and, um, and see the benefits firsthand. If someone want to become more involved in the WRLA, if there's something of particular interest or a direction that you see the WRLA going or should go or want to voice your opinion, I would say just reach out to one of the board members or any of the, the WRLA team, uh, voice your interest, and then there's you know almost always a way that they can get on a committee and stuff and, and get a little bit of a taste for you know what goes in and, and how they can help strengthen this organization. We joined because we, we joined the WRA because it's it's such a dynamic organization where you get to be able to spend time uh, with other people in the industry, whether it be suppliers or other lumber dealers, and it, it really gave us the ability to share best practices and best ideas. And it sort of you sort of lose that whole we're competitors or we're a supplier customer relationship. It really turned into a, a friendship and, and, and the ability to share best practices was amazing. What is expected to change at the WRLA uh, during my term as chair is um, really the last two to three years we have taken huge strides with the WRLA board already so the, the wheels of change are, are really spinning already. So during my time as, as chair, my efforts are gonna be focused mostly on um, ensuring that all of the ideas and all of the projects which we have started over the last two years um, come to fruition. Uh, I've always been a big supporter of the WRLA. I believe that associations uh, such as the WRLA, um, they really connect our, our members, our vendors, and the community at large for the building supply industry. You know, providing technology uh, courses, providing education, uh, advocating on our behalf with the government, these are all things that the association does on behalf of not only its members, but the industry at large. What I say is I encourage more women to believe that there is a place for you in this industry. There are other like-minded, strong women who would like nothing more than to connect and show you um, just how exciting this industry really can be. You don't even have to actually know how to swing a hammer, believe it or not. Some of the main goals for the Government Relations Committee uh, is really um, getting in front of government and uh, getting our voice heard. The ad advocacy part of it is huge right now. I think there's some great things that uh, uh, Deborah is working on to lobby governments. It's not a stale organization that's always trying to be progressive and moving things forward. So it, it, it's, a, it's a great organization to be a member of. We're proud to be members of it and uh, you know, myself personally I'm glad I can actually contribute.